नमस्ते दर्शक बीन एसके दर्पण को साक्षात्कार श्रृंखला को आज को श्रृंखला में हमी हंगकंग को लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल में फेरी आईपुग आज हमीसंग लेबर पार्टी का सदस्य लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल सदस्य लिच्छू कियान वहाँसंग आज हमी जातीय अल्प अल्पसंख्यक एथनिक माइनोरिटी को बारे में विशेषतः कुछ करने राजनीतिक दल लेबर पार्टी को कुछ हमी करने आशा यहाँ सदैं यो कार्यक्रम इंजोय कर स्वागत करूँ वहाँ लेलकम टू दो नमस्ते सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द कन्वर्सेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट समथिंग अबाउट यू वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर समथिंग अबाउट यू एंड योर पार्टी विद द नेपलिस कम्युनिटी द ई Yeah, um, of course, uh, the Labour Party and the Hong Kong Confederation of Trade Unions that I have been uh, working for many years. You know, uh, I have been a Labour uh, trade union activist for almost over 30 uh, years. Mm -hmm. And I have been uh, supporting workers, mm -hmm. including uh, Nepalese workers in their struggle uh, for better working condition. And uh, uh, I'm also the f uh, founding member and founder of the Labour Party, which we started about five years ago. Yes. And of course, our stand is like the union's training stand that we stand on the side of the uh, uh, the oppressed, the uh, minorities, uh, the uh, those that are neglected in the society. And we hope that there can be social justice uh, for all. Yes. And so uh, our relationship with the Nepalese community is, of course, uh, made most majorly uh, through the workers yes. and I remember very clearly that when we have the bar bender strike yes. you know the Nepalese uh, yes. brothers are with us in the bar bender strike because they are the bar benders yes. also and uh, also we have the Nepalese uh, construction workers union okay. yes. and uh, which is under the CTU yes. and uh, we have been supporting Uh, their fight for equal pay yes. uh, because it's very unfair for them. Okay, uh, I'll uh, come to the topic okay. uh, later. Um, so let's talk about the Gurkha community, the Nepalese community, as they are referred to as. Uh, do, can you remember the first time you came uh, across a Gurkha family or a Gurkha community? Uh, I the remember my first time uh, is, of course, with uh, the Nepalese uh, uh, workers mm -hmm. because uh, many of them are working for either construction, mm -hmm. Or working for the uh, security guards, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 we uh, together with Construction Workers Union, I remember going uh, to a barbecue. Yes, a very happy one, Guru yes. Barbecue. You know uh, the association that they have a barbecue with the family members, yes. and uh, you know I I enjoy the moment with the uh, the families of the the workers and also the communities, and 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 after that you know we start uh, many. Of our activities uh, with the Nepalese community, especially uh, the construction workers union, we support their 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 organizing to improve yes. their working condition. Uh, uh, since uh, you have been uh, you have been uh, you have graduated from the Hong Kong University as um, bachelor in civil engineering, uh, and you have been uh, the general secretary of the Confederation of Trade Union in Hong Kong. Uh, so, uh, from your point of uh, From your aspect, from your point of view, uh, how do you, uh, how do you feel? Uh, are the EM community uh, who work in the construction industry are being paid to the extent uh, to the local people? No, I think it's very unfair uh, because uh, their pay is usually lower than that of the local construction workers union. So we hope that it can be equal pay. And under the actually the race discrimination law, there should be equal pay. And, uh, but there's a lot of excuses and uh, of the construction company saying that uh, they need a, a, a special supervisor to supervise and so they, they cannot uh, can give the same pay. But these are all excuses. And also there are problems with uh, some of the ethnic minority in entering the industry because yes. the training part is yes. also in, important. Yes. Are there enough training for yes. EM because usually training if it's in Cantonese yes. it does not help mm -hmm. it had to be in uh, uh, the in either English language or of course be even better uh, the uh, uh, EM themselves their language uh, either uh, so we are pushing also the con construction industry council yes. to open up more of a EM uh, uh, construction workers training program yes. so 
uh, firstly, I think need more training for them to enter industry. Secondly, it needs uh, equal pay uh, for the uh, construction uh, workers in uh, Nepalese workers, and so uh, these two have been our uh, major uh, campaign uh, okay. in the past. The CTU and the and your party, the Liberal Party, has been uh, forcing this and also uh, raising the voices uh, for the EM, isn't it? Yes, this is uh, uh, our basic uh, uh, platform also mm. for the EM, and of course not just the workers but also the the, the children. Mm -hmm. I think the other aspect that we are concerned about is uh, how can uh, the children, when they are in uh, the primary school, mm -hmm. how to catch up the Chinese standard yes. so that they can have a future. Yes. And that is also important, that there should be more resources put into education. Yes. And then the other aspect is, even when now they have, uh, some of them grow up and they want to, may want to join the police, yes. Uh, the uh, correctional service yes. and we are demanding also that the government reduce uh, the requirement on Chinese yes. especially writing Chinese you you must speak Chinese yes. of course I can understand yes. Uh, yes. but may, many minority EM can speak Chinese yes. but they cannot write it so well so they can report in English yes. but if they can speak Chinese mm -hmm. then I think the police the correction service should lower their standard of uh, recruitment on the language basis and also it helped because for Nepalese and uh, or uh, Pakistan uh, they have their they can have their language yes. uh, advantage mm -hmm. because Chinese cannot speak the my uh, Udu yes. uh, they cannot speak their language so yes. if they go out on the street they mm -hmm. can use that language yes. so we have also called upon uh, the government to civil servant yes. to reduce uh, in may, uh, in those departments that do not require uh, so much written Chinese to allow minority to enter a civil service. Um, since uh, six percent of the population, uh, as as per the demographics, uh, six percent of the population is EM. Uh, it says, uh, don't you feel uh, it's quite unfair for the six percent of the community? Uh, they are not able to. Uh, represent uh, as uh, police I I in the police or in the government service don't you feel it's quite unfair to that to that part of community yeah that is very unfair and and also i i explained to the government mm -hmm. uh the correction service yes. who are those that are being some of them that are being um uh, jailed mm -hmm. it's minority mm -hmm. so you need a correction service yes. minority to really handle mm -hmm. or talk to them mm -hmm. so it helped the the service mm -hmm. itself, including the police. Yes. And so uh, we have been asking that there should be uh, more uh, minority into civil servant because, as you said, 6% already. Mm -hmm. But in, in the civil servant, very, very small percentage. And, and many of the EM uh, youth, yes. actually, they aspire to be policemen, aspire to uh, be civil servant. Yes. So they should be allowed the opportunity. Yes. We are not asking that uh, uh, the government say, oh, I, I uh, recruit uh, EM uh, because you are EM, but mm -hmm. you, you recruit an EM because it helped a lot in the government service. Another issue we have been pushing uh, is the Labor Department, yes. because the Labor Department do not have a placement service mm -hmm. that are run or uh, led by an EM. Mm -hmm. uh, they cosmetically, because we push, mm -hmm. so they say, oh, we employ some uh, youth of uh, EM to be temporary workers uh, so that I can we can use uh, those youth to serve the EM mm -hmm. that come in to look for a job. Mm -hmm. But I said I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I want uh, EM civil servant, mm -hmm. a placement officer yes. that help uh, to man an EM employment uh, uh, office yes. so that any EM coming in can talk to this yes. particular EM placement officer yes. who can help them match the job because when you go into the job placement yes. center it's only Chinese mm -hmm. yes. no 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 uh, English and uh, and and so uh, there no one to serve you as an EM so we are also pushing that mm -hmm. a special uh, unit for EM uh, job placement mm -hmm. and that is also very important so there are lots of improvement needed yes. and and so we have been you know fighting for that uh, from the education to training to uh, 
recruitment of the civil servant uh, to equal opportunity and equal pay in the workplace level. Yes. Uh, thank you for your concern, actually. Um, it's a big city, actually, and uh, what I find is the EM community, they find that they are been left behind. Um, uh, actually, it's a it's a place where democracy is there, so um, they feel like they are left behind. It's like they are not being integrated to the society, uh, rather they are being tried to be assimilated in the society. What do you feel about that? Yeah, um, I think they should come out more. Yes. Uh, sometimes I feel that uh, as a union, uh, yes. our domestic workers union, yes. uh, you know, foreign one, yes. uh, uh, Indonesian, uh, um, Filipinos, Filipinos yes. they are very active yes. in organizing. Mm -hmm. But the local mm -hmm. Nepalese uh, workers are not unionized and very yeah. often not so active. I so I hope that uh, all of you can be more active. Because hopefully, uh, hopefully the message, uh, yeah, message goes go to, the, out. Go I, to the yeah, because community. Uh, uh, we we are, we are open to all national. We are even we open to foreign domestic yes. workers. We support them yes. because all men are born equal. Yes, this we tr truly believe, and so we hope that there can be equal treatment, equal opportunity uh, uh, for uh, EM. And 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 as you said, m many of them are left behind. But I think it also takes organizing. I yes. mean, the new the the community should be organized and to uh, uh, speak out yes. and so I'm very willing I'm an organizer all my life yes. and so I'm very willing to organize uh, the uh, ethnic minority community to speak out so uh, I'm very glad that uh, I have this opportunity yes. so I'm called upon all of uh, uh, you uh, not to just uh, hide uh, high inside the community but, yes. but to come out yes. and uh, Hong Kong is a democracy yes. and we of course uh, think that apart from the EM issue, yes. uh, the ethnic minority should also concern about the whole Hong Kong yes. uh, issue like yes. democracy. Yes. Uh, we are fighting for, uh, in the past we have yes. fought successfully for the minimum wage yes. and now we are fighting for any review of the minimum wage. Yes. Come out, yes. together we fight together. Yes. So when, when the people in Hong Kong feel that the EM is fighting together yes. with us yes. on democracy, on uh, labour rights, uh, on uh, health, uh, education, everything. Then I think th you can feel more. Yeah. You can feel the uh, Hong Kong. Uh, let's talk about uh, your party, the Labour Party, and also the CTU and the EM. Uh, since you have been, uh, since you have told us that you have been raising issues from your point and also the party and the union as well. Uh, what are your future plans? Uh, with the community, the EM community, what are your future plans? Uh, my, my future plan, of course, is hope that uh, firstly we have already the construction workers yes. uh, union yes. and we have the security guard union in yes. our uh, in CTU. We yes. hope that more of the, because many are security yes. guard also, to join yes. uh, the, our security guard union. So it can be part of the, the union yes. and to fight together for better pay for all yes. and also especially uh, equal treatment for yes. the uh, construction workers or the security guards uh, workers that are Nepalese uh, origin. So firstly, I think our plan as a union yes. is to get more into the um, uh, uh, the union to fight together. And uh, for the Labour Party, I think we want to go to the community. Yes. And especially, I think we should start from uh, the, the, the education level. Yes. You know, because I think many of the Nepalese families yes. are worried about their children's education. Yes. And I think we should uh, highlight this problem more. Yes. Uh, and, uh, be, and so we hope that uh, there can be, you know, sort of a, uh, we will hope that we can organize something like a parents group yes. uh, of the Nepalese mm -hmm. uh, so that the parents can speak out their voice mm -hmm. on uh, on the children education issue mm -hmm. and I think that is very important for the future because if they grow up to have good education then they can uh, e more easily uh, integrate and all yes. more easily have a better future mm -hmm. so we hope that as a Labour Party uh, we will be more into uh, the parents yes. group and hoping through that we can uh, have some of uh, uh, push for better education for the EM. Yes. Um, a little tricky question. Uh, don't you feel like uh, uh, 
the other party uh, like some other party are doing more uh, and reaching more to the em as compared to uh, the labor party or the ctu don't you feel that what are the constraints that you feel uh, that you are not able to reach to that extent that the other party have reached the community yeah i think uh, we are more in the policy on on the issues yes. uh, to be honest we don't have what we call in all over Hong Kong, yes. uh, we don't have goodies to ha hand out. Uh -huh. We do not have hand out. Yes. They are very powerful political party, handing out not just to ethnic minority. They hand out to all uh, the grassroots yes. uh, people, yes. and we don't have that money. We don't have that resources. Yes. So I think uh, what I propose to the e uh, ethnic minority is: if you want to fight, come to us. Yes. If you want goodies. There are other political parties that yes. will give goodies, mm -hmm. but they will not fight for your rights. So I think it's, bad, it's more important and, uh, to fight for your rights. And uh, we hope that we can do that. And we have a union that are more in touch yes. with the construction workers. Uh, and, uh, and, but we need more to do more on the community level. Uh, and we hope that we can organize uh, more of the parents uh, to come out to fight for better education. Uh uh, uh, since you represent uh, represent the districts, uh, where uh, about when we talk about Yunlong district, where about uh, thirty uh, thirty three percent of the Nepalese uh, live there, and even the other other EM community also live there, so uh, it's quite a big number there. Even the Yunlong district, uh, the Chunwan district. Uh, that you represent uh, the geographical constituencies. Um, uh, so what are your plans as a legislator? Uh, and you will be going into uh, election uh, this year, I, I believe. So what are your plans? Uh, how, uh, how, do you, how will you reach your message to the community? Uh, we have talked to our Nepalese um, uh, construction workers union and we hope that they can get the message to yes. the community because uh, firstly we can, they can of course help me in the language. Yes. We can print out our uh, uh, leaflet in the Nepalese language and also I think uh, uh, the, uh, like last time yes. in the election I have, visit, I have home visits yes. uh, of the Yunlong community yes. Uh, uh, to you know, knock on doors yeah. and you know, uh, introduce myself. Yeah. So I have, I, I, I think uh, uh, this time also we hope that I, we can do more, yes. and especially getting the message across. Uh, we hope that we can have more of a Nepalese uh, language yes. uh, leaflet and uh, to reach out to the community, yes. Yes. and and so I, I think. Um, uh, that I think is something that uh, we hope to do, and I hope that uh, you know people can support, yes. and uh, we will try to come to your home and to visit you. Okay. Uh, now let's let's talk about a different topic: uh, democracy. Uh, what is democracy for you? Well, for me, democracy, of course, is firstly uh, the the system, yes. and secondly, is the culture. Yeah. Both are very important. Yeah. The system in Hong Kong is very unfair. Mm -hmm. You know, in Hong Kong, we cannot vote mm -hmm. for the chief executive. Mm -hmm. We cannot vote the full legislative council. Mm -hmm. And so the system itself is not democratic. And without democracy, workers, mm -hmm. the minority, the, uh, the, the so-called um, uh, 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 weak mm -hmm. sector of society will, will always be suppressed mm -hmm. because our interests is not represented in LegCo, mm -hmm. our interest is not represented in Chief Executive. And then uh, uh, they, the, the business interest is very much represented there. Mm -hmm. And the Chinese government interest, of course, is always there, mm -hmm. but not the people, and especially the minority. Uh, why are minority always uh, in low pay job? Mm -hmm. And why are low pay job always low pay? Mm -hmm. how, can, how can we improve our low pay job? Mm -hmm. so, Democracy is about the system. We should overturn the system to have everyone, including the minority, you are all Hong Kong yes. people, yes. you should have the right as any of the uh, workers in Hong Kong or poor uh, uh, people or middle class people, all should have the right to vote, yes. not just the powerful. Yes. And so that is democracy. The, the second is culture. Yes. Culture meaning that participation. Yes. Uh, we are not saying talking about system, but everyone should participate. Mm -hmm. If we have a democracy, but no one participate, everyone just vote every four years, mm -hmm. it's useless. Mm -hmm. It's civil society, it's participation, it's 
getting your voice uh, out or yourself, mm -hmm. not not by others. No, no don't let the legislative councillor represent you, yes. because you yourself yes. uh, should voice out. So I think um, Hong Kong is very shameful. Uh, we are very rich, but very in, in unequal. Uh, we are very educated, but the people of Hong Kong cannot have the right to vote, mm -hmm. even with this education level. Uh, many countries in the world have all had a democracy and have a vibrant civil society. Uh, Nepal, mm -hmm. uh, which I visit uh, uh, for meetings yes. with the union there. Mm -hmm. uh, in Nepal, you know, my best one of my best friends become, and I ask him, how come you become the special advisor uh, to the prime minister? Mm -hmm. oh, because it's democracy. Mm -hmm. A union is that have been fighting for workers' rights all his life. Mm -hmm. Because of democracy, uh, uh, there they has a change of government. Yes. Then he can become the special advisor to mm -hmm. the prime minister. Mm -hmm. and, and so, democracy is like that. Um, you know, people can, can have uh, change. Mm -hmm. uh, so, talking about uh, the district council elections, actually, we would not like to go until the legislative council election. Actually, uh, the, the the formation of the council is quite tri uh, quite tricky. Uh, uh, people from uh, different uh, health sectors or business sectors uh, they are also representing in the council, um, and the half of the um, half of the seats they come from there. But don't you feel that one seat from the EM community or something like that, a council, EM council or something, should represent in the legislative council? Uh, no. I think we should abolish all this small circle election. Yeah. I don't think we should ask for just EM. Yeah. Uh, since uh, s since uh, there are, uh, it's a tricky part like uh, different uh, health sectors or the business yeah, sectors. We okay. are opposed yeah. all that. Yes, okay. So, because we oppose all the health sectors, yes. business sector, education sector, all this should be abolished. Uh -huh. okay. It's not fair. Yes. And, and, and of course, uh, uh, we would not, op uh, we, we, we hope that there can be better representation yes. of yes. EM. Yes. Uh, but better representation of EM uh, should not through this uh, small yes. circle, yes. because we should abolish that, mm -hmm. because this is unfair. Yes. But uh, like everywhere in the world, yes. uh, the, the minority uh, should be more uh, uh, represented yes. through, uh, you know, their their own effort uh -huh. in uh, integrating society and getting uh, the support yes. of the community all, uh, as a whole. Yes. So uh, we hope, of course, that like uh, in London, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it was it is now a minority yes. mayor, yes. Uh, uh, Muslim, yes. which uh, uh, then and this is a very good example. Uh, this is a sort of um, uh, society we aspire for, mm -hmm. where everyone has the equal opportunity. And, and uh, no matter, may, you may come from a minority family, but finally you can make it to become uh, uh, even like uh, mm -hmm. London, you become uh, mayor. Mm -hmm. But in Hong Kong, it's impossible mm -hmm. because of this small circle yes. uh, sector. You know, we should abolish all that mm -hmm. and then everyone... Uh, 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 can have equal, more opportunity yes. to be elected in legislative council. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, so, uh, anything that you would like to add more? Because we are about to uh, finish the interview, uh, since we have talked uh, on different topics. Anything that you would like to uh, share your message or convey your message to the community, the Nepalese community, the EM community? Anything you would like to? So it's. Uh, yeah, as I've said, you know, uh, if. If uh, there are lots of issues yes. that the EM need to fight for, yes. and so I hope that I can be part of you, yes. uh, together, uh, shoulder to shoulder, yes. uh, we can fight for the rights of the yes. minority and and the Labour Party uh, represent uh, uh, all the sectors that are uh, the uh, um, uh, the, sub uh, the oppressed or the weak sector of society, and we hope that the weak can be strong and that uh, we can really change our life yes. uh, after uh, we change the policy of government and every individual uh, minority, every individual can have uh, uh, their life change yes. because uh, uh, a path is yes. open to them. So we hope that we can do it together. We'd like to 
personally and from the community thank you for raising our issues uh, with the government and also working on that and also hopefully we will we'll be looking forward uh, for your play, for your actions in the in, in the council and also as a, as as a member of the party uh, hopefully you will be successful in that and thank you for your thank time you. and we had a great time talking with you uh, actually we would like to we would have liked to um, like lend in the interview but then since you have you'd be busy after three so so thank you for thank your you. time thank you thank namaste you. time thank you yes. uh that's been hami legislative council ma aera as a legislative councillor labor party ka tarpa bata uh lichu kyan hununcha waa sangha lamo kura haru bariyo waa le hamro samudaya lai kei message haru pani dinu bhai ko cha asa cha tapai harli tiyo message lai ramro sangha bujnu bhaiyo धन्यवाद नमस्ते